Hi, I'm Dr. Christy Courtney Namiji, and today we're going to discuss dental care in the horse. So the most important thing for a horse owner to know about dentistry in the horse is just like dentistry in a human, it should ideally be preventative rather than a treatment. You want to address any potential problems before they can get started. Horses' teeth are actually very different from humans' teeth. Where we have a very distinct crown and root structure, and once our teeth have erupted, what we have is what we have. Horses have what are known as hypsodontic teeth. Early in life, most of the tooth, even the crown, will exist up above the gum line, deep within the horse's mouth. As the horse ages, their teeth wear and continually erupt until in the very, very old horse, you have very little tooth up above the gum line, maybe a little root, a tiny bit of crown, and often a very worn tooth as the horse ages. Because of this continual eruption and wear pattern in the horse's mouth, it's very important to check their teeth, at least on an annual basis, and look for any problems that may be happening. When horses chew, they don't chew straight up and down as we do. They have what's called an elliptical chewing pattern. It's a side-to-side -side rotational movement. That allows them to properly shear and grind forage such as grass or hay. But this also causes them to wear some uneven patterns in their teeth at times. When we're talking about dental maintenance, we're talking about examining horses for uneven wear and doing what's called floating their teeth to keep them comfortable, to keep them from packing feed between the teeth and causing infection up in the gum line, to keep them from wearing the crown of one tooth against the other to the point where you get valleys and high spots. So Scooter has been sedated. I'm going to go ahead and begin by flushing out his mouth. I want to rinse out any feed that he may have stored in there so I can actually get a good look at his teeth. This also allows me to evaluate his level of sedation. If he doesn't tolerate this, he's not going to tolerate anything else. So in order to get a good look inside a horse's mouth, you need to use what's known as a full mouth speculum. The type of speculum that's used varies depending on the preference of the veterinarian. What a speculum does is it allows us to open the horse's mouth and hold it open so that they say, ah. It's also important to have a good light source to really get a good look inside the horse's mouth. This allows us to check for any points, any hooks, anything that may interfere with the normal bite of the horse. Scooter's mouth here was actually floated not long ago. He doesn't really have a lot of abnormalities in his mouth. He has some minor points, but they're not very sharp yet. Along both the outside, what we call the buccal surface that touches the cheek on the upper arcade, and along the inside, the lingual surface near the tongue. He has a little bit of mild unevenness of the table surface of the teeth. That's the chewing surface of the teeth. Um, for a 15-year-old horse, his teeth actually look pretty good. And you can see inside the horse's mouth, you have the incisors in the front. For male horses, you often will have canines, which are right here, just behind the incisors. Those are not the wolf teeth. Then you have an open space, which is referred to as the bars. This is where the bit will sit in the mouth. You have premolars and molars, which are collectively called the cheek teeth. When people talk about floating a horse's teeth, what they're referring to is filing down any sharp points, hooks, or high spots in the mouth. You can use either a hand float, a file, such as this, or there are now float attachments that can be mounted on power drills. Whichever method is chosen, it's important that they remember not to remove too much tooth, that you're careful about maintaining the normal architecture of the mouth. You're only looking to take down sharp points to level out high spots. If you have a serious wave mouth where you have a lot of very big highs and lows, what you're looking is to remove just enough of the high to get to the normal length. You can't even out all of those highs and lows in one go. You will damage the tooth. Wolf teeth are generally removed for several reasons. There's some discussion as to whether or not it can interfere with the bit. Typically, since the bit is actually applying pressure downward on the horse's mouth, it's not so likely to contact the wolf teeth, but wolf teeth can often get quite sharp. If you have the soft tissues in the mouth that are being compressed by the bit, you may get something that's bothersome to the horse. Should you brush your horse's teeth? Scooter, what do you think? 
No, it's not necessary. Horses are not notorious for developing terrible plaque, and it's a good way to get your arm chewed on. Ditch the toothbrush. Just remember, in an ideal world, dentistry in the horse should be preventative. You don't want to get to a treatment state. If you have questions on dentistry in your horse, please contact your veterinarian, and please call your veterinarian to schedule a regular dental appointment for your horse. For thehorse.com, I'm Dr. Christy Corp Minamiji.